Unfortunately, there won't be a weekly tour for God in that vlog this time. I got busy with college and couldn't work on the project. But during one of my lunch breaks, I had a bit of a free time and decided to make a very simple side project. And then I had one of the worst ideas of my life. What if I made a 2D graphics engine inside the Windows terminal, using only that weird block character? So I did. Well, not entirely, but it's working. I started by creating an empty C++ project in Visual Studio. The first test was just printing that block character with C out. But of course, the terminal didn't display it correctly because it wasn't using UTF-8. After fixing the code print formatting, the character finally rendered properly. Next, I wanted to add colors. After some research, I found set console text attributes, which allows scoring terminal text, but it affects the entire console at once. So after each print, I had to change the color manually. Windows 7 only supports 16 colors, so my engine was limited to that palette. Then I started working on frame rendering. My first test was a rainbow colored line moving across the screen. It flickered like crazy, but it was a start. After some experimentation, I managed to reduce the flicker and get a somewhat smoother frame update. However, once I increased the resolution, new problems appeared. Because the terminal draws characters top to bottom, left to right, each frame created a strange OTV effect. Using plain text with no formatting sped up drawing, but the effect was still there. After more research, I discovered that instead of reading character by character, I could write everything at once if I used a buffer. The limitation was that normally you can assign individual colors when doing this. The console applies colors only before or after printing text. Luckily, I found out that with the Windows API, I can use the console handle and fill a buffer of chart info structures, each containing both the character and its color. Using write console output, I could finally render a roll frame at once with correct colors. With that, I achieved smooth, flicker free rendering. But of course, nothing's ever simple. The terminal characters are taller than they are wide. To approximate to a square pixel, I doubled the horizontal size and drew each pixel twice. I also created a small tool to convert PNG images into custom formats containing only the data needed to render them in my engine. With that, importing sprites became easy. And now I officially have a working 2D engine in the terminal. All that is left is Delta Type, a proper game loop, input handling, a simple animation system, time maps, basic collision, camera, sound, you are ready, asset loader. So yeah, there's still a long road ahead. But honestly, I feel fulfilled just seeing all of this render inside of Terminal using nothing but characters. And that's all for this week. Thank you for watching.